Hey, and hope you're doing well today. Russ Rogers back with you with some cool exercises that will get your right hand working cleanly and efficiently on the six string bass. So get your bass out and tuned up and we'll get started. Today I'll be showing you some right hand exercises that will teach your hand to get rid of the string ring problems you may have been running into on the six string. First, let's look at how to position your left hand while doing these right hand exercises. And doing these right hand exercises, um, you will run into string overring as you come down from the higher strings to the lower strings, which would sound like this. Not a very pleasant sound. So to make this nicer to listen to as you work on these exercises, if you lay your first finger between the nut and the first fret very lightly, it'll mute the strings enough to give you tone, but it will get rid of the overring so that you can go up and down and it won't sound so uh, jumbled together. So you just move the finger a little bit forward or a little bit back and um, you know to where it sounds good to you. Remember not to press down too hard because you'll actually fret the note and it'll, it'll overring just like open strings will. So just very lightly touch the finger to in between the fret and first fret and the nut. Now let's take a look at right hand form, picking and muting. All right, the first thing about the form about the right hand will be to keep your arm off the bass because this will interfere with mobility this way. It'll also put pressure on the veins taking blood out of the hands. So, um, you know, if you sit there and really dig in like this, you could find your fingers going numb while you play. So just let the arm float a little bit off the base like this. It's okay if it touches just a little bit, but don't really put any kind of significant pressure there. Next thing we want to do is place the thumb on top of the pickup here. Uh, most people like to sit on the the, what I call the cliff of the pickup as an anchor, and it does feel comfortable to do, but it, does, it also interferes with the muting technique that I'm going to show you, so it doesn't work very well to have the thumb here. So we rest the thumb on top of the pickup. Also keeping your thumbnail short so that the flesh part of the thumb will contact the pickup, uh, because if the thumb hits, thumbnail hits it, then it'll slide around and it won't be very comfortable to do. Now as you get this form down, you will be able to move the hand this way and this way depending on what kind of sound you want to get. So always make sure you go straight up and down, you know, this way along with the pickups in this type of angle. You don't want to start here and end up here, or start here and end up here. All right. In picking the strings, we just let our finger glide over the top of the string and grip it and uh, keep tension in these two joints, well, I can't see that, these two joints here. Don't let these two joints buckle in or collapse as you pick the string. All right, in other words, you wouldn't want it to go like that. You'd want to keep the joint stiff and let the string slide out from underneath the finger. Because so if I let those joints collapse, you'll listen, listen to the sound. Not as much point to the attack and the tone's not as good. But if I tighten up those joints, hear how the sound of the bass gets better. All right. Also reduce the amount of height that the finger goes over the string to pick. You don't want it to go out and over. Basically it just glides over the top, grips it, and pulls it, minimizing all the excess motion as you do it. All right. When I go to the E string from the B, my thumb just sits on top of the B like this. And then I pull the E string with the fingers falling firmly against the B string you know, as I pull them over the E. When I go to the A, my thumb slides onto the E and is now touching the B and the E. When I go to the D string, my thumb now touches the B, E, and A. go to the G. I'm now touching the B, E, A, and D. So you see the thumb staying one string behind the, the string that I'm picking. And then when I go to the C, I'm now touching the B, E, A, D, and G with the thumb and picking the C. This keeps all the lower strings quiet while I'm playing on the higher strings, plus keeps the hand very relaxed as I move up and down the strings here. 
Because a lot of the problem with the six ring bass is people will reach and using all this muscle energy just to do that, you know, will take a lot away from your endurance while you play. Now for exercise one. All right, in exercise number one, we're going to have four notes per string. All right, and we want to alternate one, two, one, two, up and down several times, and then go back and do a two, one, two, one alternation. All right, I suggest counting one, two, one, two, and two, one, two, one as you go up and down the strings. Also, don't worry about doing these in time or with a metronome at first because um, it's really about the getting the muscle memory programming of the right hand going. You know, later on when you get this down, yeah, you can go ahead and do it in time with a metronome or a drum machine to work on the accuracy of the timing of it. But for right now, I recommend just doing one string at a time, set the hand, do the next string, set the hand, do the next. All right, here we go, exercise number one. One, two, 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 Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now two one alternation. Two, one, 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 two, one. Two, one, 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 two, one. Let's look at exercise two. Okay, in this one we're going to be doing two notes per string. Uh, again, alternating one, two, one, two, and then going back and doing a two, one, two, one. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two. Now two one alternation. Two, one, 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 two, one. Now let's check out exercise three. Okay, and exercise number three, it's gonna be one note per string. All right, remember to take these real slow and focus on the right hand form. It's not about fast, this is about really accuracy and reducing all the excess motion of the right hand. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, Two, one, two, and two one alternation. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope these exercises will help you in working up your right hand technique.